My name is Andre Harris. We are in Houston, Texas for the Men Living with Sickle Cell Town Hall meeting. Well, my connection with sickle cell disease is first that I am a sickle cell patient and also I am an advocate for sickle cell disease. And so this is very important to me because I am a uh, patient and a male. So I identify with all of the areas that we're talking about today. Yes, so black men already deal with a lot of stigma, first being black and secondly being male. And if you add the uh, disease of sickle cell disease, we're already at a triple threat. And so there's been a lot of things in our culture that has taught people um, to hold certain prejudices against black men. And so I am elated that we're here working with uh, this company to make sure that we address those stigmas and those attitudes. Um, that black men are not super predators, they're not thugs, and they're not drug seekers. So with the emergency room setting and um, male sickle cell patients, they again have to face the issues uh, with doctors and nurses and providers that may not be educated about their disease. So the prejudices that have been passed down for generations that uh, sickle cell patients are drug seeking and that they are thugs really prevents them from receiving the best care possible. I would say to doctors, nurses, healthcare providers within the emergency room setting, that they need to learn their patients to, as individuals and not as a statistic. Uh, many uh, providers treat their patients um, just to get them out of the door in the emergency room setting, but if they learned who they were and took the time to understand what brought them there, that they'll be able to provide them with the best quality care as possible. Clinical trials is another passion that I have. Um, I believe that uh, the minority population, and as we talk about black men with sickle cell disease, are not participating in clinical trials. And if we want to have culturally appropriate disease-modifying drugs to help uh, treat our disease, we have to have the people that suffer with the disease to participate. So um, I would admonish anybody that's watching, if you're a patient, even if you're a provider, to either participate more or get more information from your provider. And if you're a provider, try to make sure you reach out to a more diverse population, try to make sure you reach out to more males. Yes, I believe that uh, researchers should make sure that they reach out to their black male patients. Uh, we don't see that many black male patients from a research standpoint when we are looking for different disease modifying drugs. And also, it, we need to make sure that the education for the potential enrollee in that trial is there because most people are apprehensive about uh, clinical trials because they believe they're not safe or they're not um, efficient. So I believe it's very necessary that the providers and the researchers educate uh, the patients um, that will be in the trial that it is safe and that they can be rest assured that they won't be um, taking advantage of in any way.